Hi there and welcome to another Wisdom Wednesday. Today I would like to talk about patience and boredom. Now, being impatient and being bored are problems that are solved exactly the same way. And that is by living in the present moment. Now, living in the present moment is a solution to many, many problems. And when talking about wisdom, um, this is a topic that comes back time and time again. And living in the present moment is very important. So, I will first explain it a bit. Living in the present moment means that you realize that you are in the moment that is now. And the past and the future in the present moment do not really matter because there are, un there are uncertainties in the future and the past does not change the now. It might have some influence on the now but the influence that it has is that it has. There is simply nothing you can do about the past. The past will stay the same. Now, the future and the past might uh, bring you some emotional problems and those arise from problems that are both in the past and in the now but those emotional problems are problem, problems that you should not have because these are the logical problems and logically in the present moment these problems do not matter they do not need a solution the only solution that they need is that they should not exist, they should not be there so you should not be bothered by these problems so living in the present moment is actually noticing that things are the way they are so there might be problems in that case you accept that there are these problems but you don't make an emotional problem out of it so you just notice that things are the way they are even if there are problems. Now some people think that this is the same as seeing that a child is starving and turning her head and walking away from the problem. However this is not the case. You see that the child is starving. You still see, you still notice that that is not right. You still notice that that is indeed a problem. The only thing is you are not making the problem bigger by adding negative emotions to that problem. You are just looking at the problem and looking at what a possible solution could be. And in the case that you can't do anything about the child starving, then you will have to accept the way things are. So that means that you will have to accept that you can't do anything. And the reason that you have to accept that is because the fact that you cannot help that child at that moment will not change at all. So making a problem out of something that you can solve really is something that you should not do. So now that I have explained living in the present moment, I can go on to patience and boredom. Now, you might get impatient if a train doesn't arrive on time. You might already be impatient for a train that still has to arrive, but does arrive on time. But if you can wait for the train to arrive on time and it does have some delay and you then get impatient, then there is a problem that you have to solve. The problem is that you are not going to be on the same time at your destination as you expected. Now, then that problem is well, something that might indeed be a problem. You might have to be at your work at a certain time. Now, searching for a solution is all perfectly fine. That's part of being in the now. 
because you accept that there is a problem, however, the problem is there, which means that it could use a solution. So, searching for a solution is fine, because you are fixing the problem, but you are not emotionally um, distracted from the problem. So, you are calmly searching for a solution. Now, if you cannot find an alternative, so you have to take the train, then you will simply have to accept that you have to wait. And then instead of being distracted by your emotions that um, you will not arrive in time, you try to just be let things go and look around you. Absorb everything, but don't get distracted by anything. And this is because when you are impatient and you have to wait, if you go searching for things that distract you from being impatient, then you will uh, be pinpointing at things that interest you. And it, this is something which is the same with boredom. You will start to look for certain things. Your mind is actively searching which means that your mind tries to block out things that are not of your interest and at such uh, a point in time that you are searching for things to distract you from impatience and you cannot find that something then you will be impatient once again and then once again you start searching but you can't find anything so you once again get impatient but if you just accept that you have to wait, if you just let everything come in, then you will notice that you won't get impatient. Now, with getting bored, it's usually that you are um, in a certain place and that you have to wait for a certain time until you can find something to distract your mind. Because your mind wants something to be distracted from the nothingness but this nothingness is actually something that you can experience and can be fascinated by you can be in a room all alone not distracted by any human being whatsoever and you can be in nature not being distracted by any human being and still not get bored you can just experience that moment and be fascinated by it and this is something that you might not have experienced yet. You might have experienced it one time, but not be able to go back to that moment again. But it's something that you can build living in now. So anyway, my aim was to keep my videos around or under 8 minutes. And thus I will end the video here. If there are things that you uh, still want to uh, have explained that weren't properly or uh, not in detail explained in this video um, then feel free to ask a question and um, of course you can always ask me to talk about any subject as long as it is about wisdom and if you are not entirely sure whether it is a wisdom subject um, feel free to just ask if I could talk about that and if it falls into the subject and of course I will and if even then after that I have made a video about the subject and it is um, not done enough into detail then I will make another video um, anyway thank you for watching and see you next time